I was so inspired by the um, unmet needs for treating diseases, some diseases successfully, like cancer, like diabetes, like blindness, frankly. Have you ever wondered if common vegetables could hold the key to a healthier you? Enter Dr. William Lee, a distinguished physician whose career has been dedicated to unraveling this mystery. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Through his groundbreaking research on angiogenesis, the formation of new blood vessels, particularly in cancer, Dr. Lee has become a leading authority in the field. His books, Eat to Beat Disease and Eat to Beat Your Diet, dissect natural remedies, advocating for strategic food choices that can transform your body into a fat-burning, disease-fighting machine. Inspired by his work, we've curated a list of seven vegetables allegedly endowed with fat-burning and anti-cancer properties. Before diving in, let's understand angiogenesis, the body's process for creating new blood vessels. While critical for wound healing and growth, this process takes a darker turn with disease. Cancer relies heavily on a robust blood vessel network for growth and spread. Recognizing angiogenesis role in cancer, Dr. Lee's team embarked on a quest to disrupt this lifeline. Their groundbreaking work identified specific dietary interventions that hold immense promise in combating the alliance between cancer and angiogenesis. Now, let's explore these potent six vegetables that could be nature's warriors against cancer and excess fat. Beets. Beets have a bioactive called betanin, which is anti-androgenic. It cuts off the blood supply to tumors. And in beets, actually, uh, is a substance that actually causes our body to produce nitric oxide, which actually helps heal our blood vessels and lower blood pressure. It actually causes vasodilation. So uh, beets are great and also beet greens. The tops of beets also contain bioactives that are worth uh, uh, going for when you actually uh, cook with them. So don't throw away the tops. Beetster. Lee's research highlights beets' rich nitrate content as a key attribute. When consumed, these nitrates transform into nitric oxide, a vasodilator that widens blood vessels, enhancing overall circulation. This process ensures that every cell receives oxygen and nutrients more efficiently. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it, if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Beyond improved blood flow, Dr. Lee's work reveals beets as powerful modulators of angiogenesis, the body's process for creating new blood vessels. Certain compounds in beets can regulate this process, promoting healthy angiogenesis while potentially inhibiting the abnormal blood vessel growth that often supports cancerous tumors. Moreover, Dr. Lee underscores beets' potential in weight management. High in fiber yet low in calories, beets promote satiety without excess energy intake. Their fat-fighting prowess extends further. Betalanes, the pigments giving beets their distinctive color, may enhance the body's ability to break down and utilize fat, turning it into a more efficient fat-burning machine. Beets also boast anti-inflammatory properties. With chronic inflammation increasingly recognized as a root cause of many diseases, from heart conditions to certain cancers, this is significant. Dr. Lee's advocacy isn't merely theoretical. His books offer practical advice for incorporating more beets into your diet, from simple roasted beets to adventurous beet smoothies or energy bars, catering to various tastes and lifestyles. Through Dr. Lee's lens, we see food not just as sustenance, but as a means to profoundly influence our health. In this paradigm, humble vegetables like beets become powerful tools, transforming our bodies into fat-burning, disease-fighting marvels. His ongoing research invites us to view our plates as personalized pharmacies brimming with natural remedies. Check this out, kale, right? Kale is a brassica. It contains uh, healthy bioactives uh, like isothiocyanates, hard to pronounce, ITCs. They uh, create sulforaphanes and the things that make broccoli take, taste kind of sulfury. Uh, but it's really good for you. It's good for your immune system, good for cancer fighting, good for your circulation good for your gut microbiome. Most of these uh, uh, kale has a good source of dietary fiber. 2. Kale. Dr. Lee's study of health-boosting foods focuses keenly on kale, raising it from a salad staple to a nutritional powerhouse. What's intriguing is his exploration of kale's various types, each offering distinct benefits. Dr. Lee delves into the kale spectrum, including curly kale, lacinato dinosaur kale, 
red Russian kale, and Chinese kale gai lan. He elucidates that while all kale shares core nutrients, each variation boasts unique nutritional qualities. For instance, red Russian kale's reddish-purple stems signify its richness in anthocyanins, potent antioxidants renowned for anti-inflammatory properties and potential cancer cell inhibition. Lacinato kale, with its dark, bumpy leaves, is rich in carotenoids, notably beta-carotene and lutein. Dr. Lee suggests these compounds not only aid in eye health, but also regulate angiogenesis, starving cancer cells while nourishing healthy tissues. Dr. Lee further explores curly kale, noting its ample surface area, making it superior for absorbing dressings and spices. Beyond culinary advantages, curly kale is rich in glucosinolates, converting into isothiocyanates, known for enhanced detoxification and potential cancer-fighting properties. Chinese kale or gai lan stands out for its high indole-3-carbonyl content, supporting the liver's fat metabolizing functions. Beyond cancer and fat burning, Dr. Lee emphasizes kale's role in gut health, vital for overall well-being. Moreover, kale's impressive protein content, compared to other greens, makes it ideal for maintaining muscle mass during weight loss. Its amino acids facilitate glutathione production, a potent antioxidant. Dr. Lee suggests kale's benefits are enhanced through specific preparation methods, such as light steaming or massaging with olive oil, preserving nutrients and making them more bioavailable. Carrots and carrot tops. We've done research to show carrots have beta-carotene and other carotenoids. These are good for uh, antioxidant purposes and they also starve cancer. But guess what? The uh, tops, green tops of carrots, actually have twice the activity. You can make a pesto out of them. Absolutely delicious. 3. Carrots Dr. William Lee, a prominent figure in nutritional science, has shed light on the remarkable health benefits of carrots through his pioneering research. Carrots, once seen as simple snacks or ingredients, now command attention in scientific circles, largely due to Dr. Lee's innovative work. Central to Dr. Lee's inquiries is a compelling question. Can this common vegetable combat cancer and aid in managing body fat? While carrots have long been recognized for their nutritional richness, Dr. Lee's research unveils deeper health potentials. A highlight of Dr. Lee's studies involves two compounds found in carrots, falcarinol and falcarindial. These compounds, though sounding exotic, demonstrate potent anti-cancer properties in laboratory settings. They inhibit cancer cell growth by disrupting vital signaling pathways and potentially impeding angiogenesis. However, Dr. Lee's interest in carrots extends beyond cancer prevention. He underscores their role in weight management, particularly significant in the current obesity epidemic. Despite their sweetness, carrots are low in calories, aiding in satiety and portion control. Now everyone knows that spinach is good for you. But a lot of people don't know why it's good for you. It turns out that spinach, which grows very close to the ground, is a great source of dietary nitrates. When you um, make the food taste and you chew it, it turns out the microbiome in your tongue, healthy gut bacteria in your tongue, will uh, convert the nitrogen into a form that when you swallow it, turns in, in your body into uh, nitric oxide. And this actually helps to uh, widen your blood vessels and lower your blood pressure. 4. Spinach Dr. William Lee's cutting-edge research has unveiled the extraordinary potential of spinach, a humble, leafy green often overshadowed by trendier vegetables. His innovative approach to food as medicine has revealed that spinach's power lies not just in its impressive array of micronutrients, but in its unique affinity for nitrogen-rich soil. Unlike most plants, Spinach thrives in soil abundantly laced with nitrogen. As it grows, it actively synthesizes this nitrogen into rare natural nitrogen molecules. When we consume spinach, we're ingesting these unique compounds, which have profound implications for our health. In a seminal study, his team investigated whether spinach could influence this process, particularly the results were revelatory. Those natural nitrogen molecules, along with spinach's rich array of flavonoids and carotenoids like lutein, exhibited potent anti-angiogenic properties. But spinach's benefits extend beyond cancer prevention. Dr. Lee's research also highlights its potential in fighting excess body fat. Despite its nutrient density, spinach is remarkably low in calories, making it a smart choice for weight management. Furthermore, it's rich in both soluble and insoluble fiber. 
This fiber plays a pivotal role in fat metabolism. It slows digestion, creating prolonged satiety that can curb overeating. In excess, insulin can signal the body to store more fat. By moderating these glucose spikes, spinach's fiber indirectly supports the body's ability to burn stored fat. Dr. Lee's work invites us to rethink our relationship with food. Broccoli. Now, when you take broccoli home from the store, you're looking for the florets. And most people, when they bring broccoli home, what do they do? They cut off the stem. Broccoli florets have something called sulforaphanes that help your immune system and boost your metabolism. But the stems have twice the amount. So don't throw the stems away, use them. The way you could do this, slice them up and saute them or put them into a blender and make a broccoli stem soup. Five, broccoli. When you think of broccoli, what comes to mind? A begrudgingly eaten side dish perhaps? Or maybe your pet's favorite treat? Well, it's time to reframe that perception. Dr. William Lee, a pioneer in the field of nutritional medicine, has been shining a spotlight on this humble vegetable, revealing its extraordinary potential in the fight against cancer and excess body fat. So, what makes broccoli a star in Dr. Lee's research? The answer lies in its unique chemical composition. Like its cruciferous cousins cabbage and cauliflower broccoli harbors compounds that show remarkable promise in cancer prevention and fat burning. One such compound that has captured Dr. Lee's attention is sulforaphane. Don't let the complex name deter you. This substance is a veritable superhero in the vegetable world. Through years of rigorous study, Dr. Lee has uncovered sulforaphane's multifaceted talents. It seems to have an uncanny ability to halt cancer cell growth, essentially putting the brakes on their rapid multiplication. Even more intriguingly, it can induce apoptosis a process where cancer cells are programmed to self-destruct. As if that weren't enough, sulforaphane also shows potent anti-inflammatory properties, a critical factor given that chronic inflammation is increasingly linked to cancer development. Here's a twist that might change how you eat broccoli. Dr. Lee's research reveals that the stock, often discarded, is actually a sulforaphane goldmine. It contains nearly twice the amount found in the florets. So, the next time you're prepping broccoli, think twice before tossing that stem. Dr. Lee's fascination with broccoli doesn't stop at its cancer-fighting prowess. His work also spotlights its potential in the battle against excess body fat. In Eat to Beat Your Diet, he explains how broccoli's high fiber content can be a game changer for weight management. When you consume fiber-rich foods like broccoli, they create a feeling of fullness that can help curb overeating. But the benefits go deeper. This fiber also aids in digestion and helps regulate bowel movements, promoting a healthy gut a factor increasingly linked to overall health. Why does this matter for weight? Well, stable blood sugar means fewer cravings and less likelihood of your body storing excess fat. See an amazing explosion of color. Take a purple potato, cut it in half, um, and put it in your refrigerator. And it'll just light up for you. Um, uh, turns out that that dark purple comes from a natural dye called anthocyanin. By the way, the same dye it's in a blueberry, as a matter of fact. But that uh, purple potato has been shown. Whether you bake them, whether you make them into chips, whether you eat them raw, um, no matter what you do to, or whether you mash them, they target cancer stem cells, which is amazing. You know, we think purple potatoes. At first glance, purple potatoes might seem like a mere novelty, a colorful oddity in the produce aisle. But through Dr. Lee's lens, these vibrant tubers are nothing short of miraculous. Their deep purple hue, he explains, isn't just visually striking. It's a clear signal of their extraordinary health benefits. This rich color comes from anthocyanins, a class of antioxidants that Dr. Lee has extensively studied. In his research, he's found that anthocyanins in purple potatoes aren't just any antioxidants. They have a unique molecular structure that makes them particularly effective at neutralizing free radicals those rogue molecules that can damage cells and contribute to diseases like cancer and heart disease. But Dr. Lee's fascination with purple potatoes extends beyond their antioxidant prowess. While healthy angiogenesis is vital for wound healing and tissue repair, abnormal blood vessel growth can feed tumors. In laboratory studies, Dr. Lee and his team have observed that compounds in purple potatoes can help regulate this delicate balance. It's as if these potatoes have an innate wisdom, knowing when to encourage blood vessel growth and when to restrain it. Moreover, Dr. Lee's research suggests that purple potatoes might be secret weapons in the fight against obesity. In Need to Beat Your Diet, 
He discusses how their unique combination of resistant starch and anthocyanins can influence fat metabolism. The resistant starch, he explains, acts as a prebiotic, feeding the good bacteria in our gut. These bacteria, in turn, produce short-chain fatty acids that can enhance the body's ability to burn fat. The anthocyanins in purple potatoes also appear to play a role in weight management. Dr. Lee's studies indicate that they may help regulate adiponectin, a hormone involved in breaking down fatty acids. By boosting adiponectin levels, these compounds could potentially turn our bodies into more efficient fat-burning machines. But Dr. Lee's advocacy for purple potatoes isn't just about their disease-fighting and fat-burning abilities. He also appreciates their nutritional density. Despite being often overlooked, these potatoes are rich in vitamin C and K, as well as essential minerals like potassium and iron. This makes them excellent choices for overall health, supporting everything from immune function to bone strength. Please consider giving us a thumbs up, sharing this video with your friends and family, and subscribing to our channel for more valuable content on health and wellness. Your support enables us to continue delivering essential information to assist you in leading a healthier life. Thank you for watching. And as always, I wish you excellent health, wealth and happiness, with the key to vitality in your hands.